Hi everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. A to the power of 3 plus A to the power of 2 equals 12. Okay, so how do I deal with it? How do I deal with this? If you look at this very well, you know that 12 can be split to give us this. So a to the power of 3 plus a to the power of 2 should be equal to 8 plus 4. Right? This is because 8 and 4 can be written like this, 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 2. Okay, now if we have this, the next target is to rearrange so that this and this will be together a to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 will come together, then plus a squared, then this becomes minus 2 squared. Everything here equals 0. So now, this right here is what we call difference of two cubes, and it's an identity. Okay, y, okay, x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3 is equal to x minus y into x squared plus xy plus y squared. So, our x minus y now becomes a minus 2 into x squared is a squared, then plus xy is going to be a times 2, and that is 2a, then plus y squared, that is um, 2 squared, and it will give 4, then plus, open bracket, we go to this difference of 2 squares, and that will be a minus 2 into a plus 2. Okay. So, at the end of the day, we equate to 0. Now, a minus 2 is a common factor here. This is going to be left over a squared plus 2a plus 4. Then, plus this a plus 2 will be in the other then we equate to 0 what I will do now is to add the terms here a minus 2 into a squared 2a plus a since a squared is not here so there will be no addition for the a squared just write your a squared then 2a plus a that will be 3a then 4 plus 2, that will be 6. Okay, some persons may think this will be multiplication. It is not multiplication because we have an operation here. We have to add what we have here and this. We equate to 0. So that it is either a minus 2 equals 0 or this one right here is equal to 0. So to begin with this, we have a to be what 0 plus 2 then a is equal to 2 this is one of the solutions so we need more solutions so I will go over to this um, to this expression which is a squared plus 3a plus c equals 0 now this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve it using the general formula okay let's turn it to x this is x squared plus 3x plus 6 equals 0 so we are saying that our x is representing the a so what is the formula the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus we have the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay 
So our a is the coefficient of x squared. By the way, I changed this to this because I knew there will be a in the formula and that will be confusing. So it's better this way. So that our x now will be minus b. b is 3, so we write minus 3 here. Plus or minus, we have the square root of b squared, which will be 3 squared, minus 4 times 1. a is the coefficient of x squared, so that is 1. Then multiply by c, the constant. This is divided by 2 times 1. Now, x from here is minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 24 as we divide by 2 times 1. How did I get the 24? It's from 4 times 1 times 6. Okay, and um, we can now simplify this too so that we'll have our x to be equal to minus 3 plus or minus 9 minus 24 is going to give us some um, 15. So here we have negative 15 rather as we divide by 2. So our x is going to be minus 3 plus or minus. We have square root of 15. Oh, I didn't write negative 15. I didn't put the negative. So multiply this by negative 1. Then everything is still divided by 2. So that x from here becomes minus 3 plus or minus 15. Here is not a perfect square, so let's leave it at that. Then multiply by square root of negative 1, which is i. Then we divide by 2. If we go ahead again, x will be minus 3 plus or minus. Let's write i first. Root 15 all over 2. So here we have um, the solution. Okay, remember we are supposed to have three solutions here. Let's write the three of them. And uh, also note that a here is the same thing. x here is the same as our a. Okay, so we will say that the first value a1 is equal to 2. Okay, a2 the second value is from here, and it will be minus 3 plus i root 15. All of this is divided by 2. Then, we have a3. It's also from here, but negative this time. So we have negative 3, negative i root 15. Everything is divided by 2. So these are the three solutions to the equation.